Hello, 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 my dear Newtons. If you are liking this series, please give me a thumbs up, uh, the Level Up series. And uh, if you don't know what Level Up series is, go to the playlist and check for the Level Up series. There are uh, questions based on kinematics, graphs, questions based on constraint motion, polar coordinates, which I have covered till date. And as a passion, I just keep on doing it uh, for the rest of you to consume it. And in the comment box, do let me know which target exam you are focusing on. Is it JE Advance or Olympiad or Mains or NEET and for which year? It will help me prepare the content in much better way. And if you have any demands for the content, do let me know in the comment box. So I'm Anand Prakash, co-founder of Vedantu. And today I will be solving a couple of questions for you based on the constraint motion. So here in this uh, case, there are two blocks A and B attached by a single string. And when I say single string, uh, the single string actually starts from here, let's say uh, one pulley fixed to the A and this entire string is one singular string, which is wrapped around uh, one pulley, two pulley and the third pulley and attaches itself to B. So we have to find the relation between V A and V B. So first what I will do is I will just uh, not... Uh, focus a lot on the pl plus or minus sign and try to solve this question as is. So let me just take this question and try to solve it as it. So what I will do, I will just fix uh, this pulley at one, uh, one place and fix this pulley at another place and this pulley at another place. So what we'll do is all pulleys will mark, uh, mark them. Okay. So this is uh, the first step that we are going to do. So clearly you can see that if I mark this as let's say length x, okay, I mark this as length x, this length is constant because this length between uh, these two pulleys is always constant because both are fixed, they are not moving, whereas this particular point is moving and therefore x will decrease if b is moving downwards and then what I will do is I will... Uh, fix this and mark the position of B. So let's call this as Y, the position of B. So this is the first step that we do in any constraint motion. What we have to do is take all the pulley, mark them and then mark all the things which are moving. So obviously the velocity of A will be similar to the velocity of the center of this particular pulley because this pulley is fixed to A. Now, the second step is because this length is constant, this length is constant and this is what we discussed in the constraint theory and if you have not watched it, please go and watch the theory first. So I can say this length is made up of three, uh, this x between here, x between here, x between here. This is the first thing. So three times x plus the pulley constant because this length will remain constant so let me just mark it with another color so this length will remain constant from here to here half pulley this length will also remain constant this length will remain constant and this length will remain constant so i will say constant all the constants i have taken together uh, in my uh, derivation in the constraint motion theory i have taken the pulley length also and then derived it to show you that how to actually take the pulley length. So this is constant plus what I will do is plus y. So if I actually take 3x plus all the constants plus y, I will get the total length of this string. And if I differentiate both these sides, so I will get um, dl by dt, which is 0, which is equal to 3 into dx by dt. Now dx is decreasing. You can clearly see this length is decreasing and I can put a minus sign over here because if length is decreasing and I'm not um, put the direction of this length and that also I will show you uh, in some time. So minus dx by dt because this differential is decreasing and when a differential is decreasing means final length is smaller than the initial length and therefore I have put a minus sign over here and uh, Constant differentiation, it will be equal to zero. And then I can actually say dy by dt, which is increasing. Uh, and I have assumed like this. So now I can say that uh, three times 
velocity of a 3 times dx by dt and dx by dt is nothing but the velocity of a will be equal to because minus goes this side and becomes positive equal to dy by dt and which is the velocity of b. So this is the relationship between a and b and b also you can determine that if both the things are moving in similar direction then we will have uh, same sign convention attached to it. So that is how we will remember. Other ways you mark uh, the length like this. So if you mark it from this particular pulley towards this and this from this direction. So differentiation I will say 3x plus y plus uh, constant will be equal to length. If I mark it like this then 0 will be equal to 3 times Va plus Vb. Here there is no plus minus because I have actually taken the length in this particular direction and finally I will get from this differentiation Va will be equal to uh, minus Vb upon 3 or 3Va is equal to minus Vb and now because Va is moving in the opposite direction in this particular direction opposite to the length I have taken. So finally we will get the same answer. I will I can put this as negative of what we have assumed and therefore Va will be equal to Vb by 3. Uh, so I can say this will be uh, because I have taken this in the right direction so it will be minus Va and therefore minus minus gets positive. So uh, we will not bother that much about positive and negative because positive and negative uh, you can clearly see and that is finally what we uh, what I have told you that if it is in the same direction if the motion is in the same direction both will actually get the same velocity. So I hope you have got it and similarly if they are starting from rest I will get similar relation for acceleration which is more important in Newton's laws of motion. So 3 a a will be equal to a b. So if I have to find the relation between a and b uh, that also I can find out. Now the next question let us go to the next question and here it is said that uh, this a is put on a uh, inclined plane of some angle theta and you have to find the relation between v a and uh, v b. So let's say this is v b and we have to find the relation between these two. So what we will do again similar first we'll mark all the pulley. So let me mark this one let me mark this one and from here I will say uh, this length is constant so obviously I will not bother and the velocity of b is same as the velocity of the center of this pulley. So Let's say I mark this length as y, this length as y and clearly here I will mark this length as x. So I will mark this as y, I will mark this as x and I can now write down the length of the pulley is sorry length of the string and here also there is a singular string. So length of the string is equal to y plus y. 2y plus all the constants. So this is a constant, this is a constant, this length is a constant. So wherever there is a constant, I don't have to write it separately. I will say all constants together plus x and this will actually uh, clearly give me the relation between Va and Vb. So again they are moving, I have assumed Va and Vb in the same direction. So they will acquire the final same direction or same uh, sign convention. Otherwise you can see that y is increasing and then x will be decreasing and if x is increasing then y is decreasing. And from here if I differentiate it 0 on the left hand side because this is constant is equal to 2. If y is increasing and b is moving that direction so it will be dy by dt. Constant is 0 differentiation and then dx by dt. Because if y is increasing, x will be decreasing and it will be equal to minus dx by dt what we have actually assumed earlier. And therefore, we will get the relation as 2 into velocity of vb will be equal to velocity of a. And this will be the relation between va and vb. And if I have to find the relation between accelerations, so similarly, I will say acceleration 2 times acceleration of b will be equal to acceleration of a and we will study in Newton laws of motion that this acceleration is with respect to 
the inclined plane and because inclined plane is at rest uh, if it is at rest then it will be this AA acceleration will be also with respect to the ground. This is a very important point which we will study in the Newton's laws of motion that if this inclined plane was also moving then how to find the acceleration with respect to acceleration of A with respect to the ground and that becomes a very very um, good question uh, for advance. I would not say Olympiad but for advance definitely becomes a very good question. So this is all for today and see you tomorrow in part B of constraint motion theory and till that time see you soon and uh, till the time bye bye take care and kids please share it with as many friends as possible that's what I actually want uh, in all these videos because personally what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to ensure that everyone improves the level slowly and gradually one question a day uh, keeps all the physics fear away so that you should always remember that one question a day on this channel will make your physics sphere away forever. So with this, bye-bye, take care and see you soon.